Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. Hope you're having a great day. Let's take a look here at Jasmine. This is a coin that I get a lot of requests for, so trying to get to uh, you know caught up on my request section here in my Discord. If you're not familiar, that is available here in our community uh, region. Okay, so again, quick congrats to our community here, of course. Decent profit this weekend, 20% from Bitcoin for a long. Aptos short, 22%, or 21 rather, but um, generally a good favorable weekend. We did have to close out an SUI trade manually before it hit its stop loss. So honestly, I guess a bit of a break even for the weekend, but I still positive, we came out in the green, it's all good. But yeah, just don't short SUI. And I, I explain why <laughs> in today's analysis, if you're not familiar, go ahead and take a look at that. That is available here now. If we take a look at Jasmine, we want to double check a few key factors here. When we last look at this, the point was to try to get in here at about the 0.618 FIB level for the next increase. So congrats to those who got in there. What we want to look at now is some new FIB levels and kind of see roughly where we're at. So again, while it's good to kind of go from the local high to local low, so we can see some resistances. I like to go with the macro perspective here sometimes, so we understand this most recent increase, where the key level supports are, right? And we can see this 0.6 and 8 FIB level kind of holding like a champ as far as resistance is concerned, but closing above that would be beneficial, right? So we see this local point of control too. In fact, let's zoom out a little bit, get a bit better of perspective. We can see the most amount of volume for this coin is right here. Yep, at two cents even. What do you know? It's an even round number, perfect number there. Two cents is essentially that, uh, that level. That's where we're at right now, too. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we're in a position right now where the price action is trying to, it's in a make or break sec, uh, section of the, of the price action, okay? So simple way to understand it is that closing above this level would be awesome, closing below, potentially disadvantageous. It's not exactly that easy, because again, we got a doji candle here kind of implying there's some indecision in the last 24 hours, but a lot of that hinges on the Bitcoin and how well Bitcoin does too, right? So if, if you're under the presumption Bitcoin is going to pull back, then this coin looks like it will probably pull back harder. It has not performed well to the upside compared to Bitcoin. And with this massive decrease in, um, in price action recently, it leads me a little skeptical to want to kind of consider trading it. Again, that's just me being a little more conservative and not necessarily a risk-taking trader. Take a look here. We are under 20, sorry, under 50 on the RSI. Not a great sign here. And if we do look at the 20-day SMA, the 50, the 100, the 200, they're all above the price. Okay, so... Closing above this two this two point zero five cent mark might be a, might be ideal, or just say two point one would be a much better situation. But at this point, there's we're, we're way below a lot of resistance. It's not a good reason to take a trade right now. Four hour time frame as well. We can see a similar scenario here. We're right like right at fifty in the RSI. I don't love trading into that. Stochastics pulling back. Money flow index is higher, but that factors into a low volume weekend. And today's volume is actually pretty low too. So I don't I don't really trust along with this coin right now. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say take a short, but um, I'm a little more short bias than I am long bias based on all the moving averages being above us minus the 20-day the SMA. And that's really not holding like a champ. It's really just telling us, hey, we're on the wrong side of the tracks here or we're tentatively moving up. But it's, again, very tentative. This is actually, and, and again, there's other coins are exuding this behavior too, where we're seeing these bull flag, sorry, bear flag patterns forming where there's more likelihood of the price breaking down than up, okay? So again, if we close underneath this two cent mark and Bitcoin starts to pull back, I think we're going to probably see this, you know, 1.8, uh, 1.7 levels potentially hit next. Our early time frame is going to tell us here as well with each mobile cloud that we are in a position where if you're in profit, you should consider securing profit because the, this window of opportunity is closing. The price action is losing momentum right there with the baseline and the conversion line. And even though we're above the cloud and we're honoring this ascending trend, it's still not that great. So what you do in order to trade these kind of trends, just say hypothetically, this is a bear flag, which to me, this seems pretty obvious, right? The best way to trade it isn't to just take a trade right now to the downside. You wait for the price action to break free. In other words, if the price comes down like this and does this, that's when you want to consider a short because it's broken that ascending trend line. It's bearishly back testing it as in, in, the, um, in the sense that letting us know it's, it's a new resistance and the local point of control in this range, still not great. So me personally, I think a short at like 19.8, sorry, 1.98 would be more appropriate than a consideration for a short right now because we, the way it looks right now is that Bitcoin is wanting to, to jump up to that, that 65K mark. And if it holds this level, this range of 63,000 or higher, which is a solid support range for Bitcoin, we really could see this coin take off. So I'm not trying to say that they're totally bearish on this coin. There's a lot of bearish qualities, but it's still not a full on confirmation of wanting to take a short yet. And again, a lot of that comes with the understanding that Bitcoin is still hasn't found its, uh, its top yet. It's still moving. So there's that, all right? 
Cool. Well, I hope that makes sense that I described that correctly. I know if you're scratching your head right now, you probably got a lot to learn. It's okay. You'll learn it eventually. Try not to um, overwhelm yourself too much with trying to trade all the time. Like some people like literally sit there like they can't live or eat, sleep, or breathe unless they're actually in a trade. Folks, just staying on the sidelines, waiting for a definitive direction is really helpful right now. The market is not great, and I would not uh, recommend uh, being an aggressive trader right now. Okay, but again, the overall trend is the macro is looking good for the most part for the price to continue higher for Bitcoin. That does complement most altcoins too. So just heads up on that. I hope I described that correctly. Thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure you take advantage of BitUnix, phenomenal exchange link down below, no KYC or VPN. Uh, they're using or providing a deposit bonus to anyone who's using their exchange using my link. So if you used it previously, just go ahead and check this out. It's an awesome benefit. If not, um, that's cool too. But I do appreciate you watching nonetheless and always hitting that like button. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.